Just like the straight lights lit this So following the success of the original Halo GT1, Halo have now launched several welcoming iterations to the original earbuds. This far, don't know how. Today we're taking a look at the GT1 Plus to see if this new update to the GT1 ecosystem is worth the upgrade. Welcome to a review of the Halo GT1 Plus. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing. If that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. So with that said, let's get on with a review of the Halo GT1 Plus. So about 5 months ago, I reviewed the original GT1 and it I was pleasantly surprised that a budget earbud could be this good. So the specs of the new GT1 Plus definitely is a step up from the original and Halo has brought these earbuds into the 2020, so definitely a very good thing. I personally got these earbuds for roughly around 85 Malaysia Ringgit, which you know roughly translates to about US 20. So I'll put a link in my description below, so if you want to check these earbuds out and its latest prices so do click on the link and you get to see what are the latest prices now and I'll also be linking my original review right up here so you can go and check out the original Halo GT1 review so in terms of the design, the GT1 Plus still retains the same look as the original GT1 and it keeps that sleek, minimalist look that the GT1 is known for. Unlike the GT1 Pro, which is a little bit bulkier because of the bigger battery, this is very reminiscent to the original GT1. The case is still primarily made out of plastic and there is nothing too fancy about it. So on the top of the lid, you will see the Halo branding here and at the back of the case, case uh, we have a micro USB cable as well as a charging indicator so when you charge it there will be a red light uh, right over there so unfortunately this still uses micro USB and no type C uh, is in the new update so that's something to take note of so on a halo doesn't put too much effort in designing very fancy full earbuds but because of that it gives the gt1 line of earbuds its signature minimalist look that is you know all around very nice so the earbuds themselves gives you roughly around 5 hours of battery life and 18 hours in total with the case and it takes 2 hours to fully charge both the case as well as the earbuds. So let's talk a little bit about the features of the GT1 Plus and I'm surprised to see how some manufacturers are able to cram great features into their budget line of earbuds and sometimes they even outperform some of the big name brands out there. So the most prominent and biggest difference to the original GT1 is that the Plus includes the quality Qualcomm QCC3020 chip uh, which has Bluetooth 5.0 and it runs the latest Apex codec so we should be expecting great sounding, low latency, audio all around. So similar to the original, the Plus also features an IPX5 rated water resistance so it's great for all around gym use and should withstand rain when using them but they are not rated to be submersible so you shouldn't bring them swimming. One very nice feature that the Plus have is the dual channel connectivity so you no longer have to pair earbuds in mono or stereo mode and that is actually one of the biggest problem with the original GT1. So many people when they pair their earbuds in mono mode it's very hard for them to go back to stereo mode and then they have to do a hard factory reset and things like that. So this doesn't happen uh, with the GT1 Plus. So connecting the Halo GT1 Plus to your mobile phone is actually quite a simple process. So all you gotta do is go into your Bluetooth setting and click on scan. So you can pull out either side of the earbud. So let's say we pull out the right one and it should detect that you know it has that right side of the earbud. So we can go ahead and click on it and you will get a confirmation. Just click on OK and the earbuds are now paired to your phone. So automatically they will also ask you to pair the left side this is because the Halo GT1 Plus actually has a true wireless stereo plus type of connection. So both 
earbuds actually connects to your phone rather than relaying music from one earbud to the other. So that's a great feature to have in these earbuds. So let's get to the important part of every earbud, the sound quality. So the GT1 Plus actually is a very impressive sounding earbud. You know, like I've already said in my original GT1, it kind of blew me away knowing that something this cheap can actually sound that good. If you get the right ear tips that fit you and you know, they will provide you with great bass, very clear mids and highs, and they're nowhere near muddy. One thing I like about this Halo GT1 Plus is that it has sufficient bass, but it's not heavily tuned, so bass heavy that covers out all the other highs and the mids. So that is definitely one good feature. And Halo really makes one of the best sounding budget true wireless earbuds that I've ever heard. And definitely in terms of core quality with Qualcomm's new CVC noise cancelling technology, calls are clear and will perform very well in noisy situation. So let's take a listen of how the call quality of these earbuds actually sound like. So this is a test of me talking into the Halo GT1 Plus and this is what you should expect the call quality to sound like in this thing to from the other end of the phone call. So again, this has the latest Qualcomm 32 chip with CVC technology. So sound quality should sound pretty nice over in the earbuds. Uh, we've tried this in slightly noisy areas and the call quality is still exceptionally good. So, you know, this overall is a very good quality earbuds for using it for phone calls. So in terms of latency, the overall performance of the earbuds are actually quite exceptional. So watching videos in and YouTube and Netflix have really no issues and latency is really kept to almost non-existent thanks to the Apex codec that the QCC3020 chip actually offers. But gaming on the other hand, you know, may, you may face some minor delays, but it's still okay considering that most TWS still pretty much have that problem. So I tried doing some light gaming such as PUBG and all, it still has a little bit of latency there. So let's take a look at the latency performance of the GT1 Plus. So this is a test to see whether or not the Halo GT1 Plus actually have a latency problem. So I'm going to clap into the mic and you should be able to tell. So here we go. So if that you should be able to tell whether or not there is a latency while watching videos. So one thing that I know is that when you're playing games such as PUBG and all, there is still a slight delay in terms of latency, maybe because of the internet quality and all. Uh, but it's that is one thing that I've noticed uh, while using this earbuds. So do take a look if you want to pick up the Halo GT1 Plus. So the Halo GT1 Plus allow you to control almost everything for your media except for volume controls. So in order to play or pause music as well as picking up phone calls, all you gotta do is tap on either side of the earbuds one time, so like this. So that's play and pause. And for you to skip forward and backwards, all you gotta do is double tap on either the right side to skip forward like this, or the left side to skip backwards like that. So the earbuds also allow you to pull up your assistant, so all you gotta do is triple tap only on the left side of the earbuds, it will pause your music and pull out your assistant. So that is one great feature. So that would be all the media controls that the Halo GT1 Plus will allow you to do. So overall, if you're in the market to look for high performing budget earbuds, definitely give the GT1 Plus earbuds a try and you definitely won't be disappointed. So some of the key features that I really like of this earbuds is its QCC3020 chip. So that's the biggest leap forward from the original GT1. With the Apex codec support as well as IPX5 water resistant, I think those are some of the very good features that we you know really like about these earbuds so that is it for this review and if you find this video helpful smash that thumbs up button and share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed do consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video